wondering. Uh, we're out here again in the high country. So this trip, uh, we've headed uh, just south of uh, Mount Buffalo. And again, this is another dog friendly weekend away uh, with my pup cheddar. We're gonna be uh, just doing the weekend here. Um, and it's again scheduled to rain tomorrow. So um, hopefully that holds out and we'll uh, have a good time exploring some of the tracks. This is the first time up to this area for me. Uh, again, I picked this area just because it's dog friendly, but uh, there's meant to be a lot of good tracks around there. Where this is situated is between uh, uh, Mount Buffalo to the north, and then you've also got Alpine National Park, which is uh, located to the south of that there, where a lot of the more famous tracks in the high country are located within. Obviously that's a national park, so we can't take the big fella, um, but yeah. This one, we've ditched the trailer. Uh, just because we're going to take on a few spots that have got a bit more hills and I prefer not to have it with me um, if I've never been to the area before. Alright, so this is the camp for tonight. Um, I actually forgot my nice comfy camping chair and uh, instead I stopped in a big W on the way and bought a $6 one. So uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of standing this trip. Anyway, this is the setup for tonight. Um, this is a dog friendly camping ground. So again, that's why I'm picking this spot uh, for this uh, trip. Cheddar's just uh, playing and eating some bark. So I'll let him stretch his legs. He's had a big day of uh, sitting in the car. That's probably the longest consecutive drive he's had as well. So good to get in, out and about. Um, just rolling again the swag tonight. I was going to uh, originally keep him in, in his crate tonight, but I'm gonna risk it and sleep in the same bed with him. And uh, well, let's hope he's uh, toilet trained. <laughs> miserable out there it's uh, been raining most of the morning um, which is not great um, look the campsite we stayed at last night was actually pretty nice um, you know would you park up here for a long time no is it good for an overnighter yeah it'll do so a few other people look like they're packing up now It's uh, just before 10 o'clock now, we've started climbing up the uh, first ridge line. Today, most of the tracks, once we get up to the top, will stay at a pretty decent elevation, uh, and then we'll have a good view into the valleys below, which will be pretty awesome, I'm hoping. Um, it's pretty cloudy at the moment, and the clouds are sitting really low, so it's pretty picturesque out the window as we're driving up the hill. Um, it did rain a fair bit last night. The track so far, it's wet, but it's not uh, overly slippery so far. Mind you though, I'm sure that'll change when it's uh, got some downhills involved. But uh, we're just climbing up. This is considered an easy track. Look, it's not hard by any means. It definitely wouldn't be hard if it was dry. It is quite narrow and quite rocky though. So the tires are sitting down at uh, 20 PSI and we're just climbing up slowly. Get up. Got a big hill in front of us, so I thought I'd uh, walk the, the GoPro up for this one and uh, gives the big fella an opportunity to stretch his little legs. So where we're at now is on a Yakabuck track and we are about five to six k south of 
Mount Buffalo National Park. So that's where we can't go with him. That's okay. We're going to go um, right on the uh, border of that, which is Goldie Track, which is our next uh, left turn that we're going to make. Absolutely beautiful being back up in the high country for proper high country. Come on. Doing well. My previous video uh, for Lake Eildon is definitely a pretty spectacular spot, but it doesn't have the altitude that uh, these sort of places have. We're up now at about 1,100 meters, and we're uh, still going up, um, but just absolutely stunning spot. Currently on Yarrabuck Trail, which runs south to north from the Alpine National Park through to Mount Buffalo. The trail itself stays just above the 1,000 meter mark and goes up to about 1,200 uh, meters. The trail itself isn't too hard, uh, it just runs uh, over the ridge line and it's just a narrow trail. Even though it's been a lot of water around, it's really not that wet. There's a few little muddy patches here and there just before the hills, but nothing too hectic at all. It amazes me how you can be at the top of the high country and still have a bog hole. I'm just going to ease in slowly. And if we bog down, just power out. It's pretty solid. On the second last track of the day, which is uh, Mount Buggery Track, um, it's again following the ridge lines um, up at about uh, 800 meters this time, though. So it's a bit lower than uh, the previous tracks. But the uh, the big thing is the uh, when you go up the hills, um, there's a sort of rise, and they have, some of them have quite steep banks on the other sides. So I have touched the uh, end of the bull bar down once today already. track of today which is Camp Creek track that goes down and then goes through two water crossings so fingers crossed they're not too deep otherwise uh, it's gonna be a long detour all the way around
before that though, I've got a pretty steep descent and the big guy's sliding in his chair at the moment. So I'm just gonna hold him here. crossing uh, and it is deep it is flowing so I've taken all precautions I've walked the line got soaked um, and uh, I'm gonna check the locker in and we're gonna take this uh, nice and slow another episode of Ranger Touring. I'm um, calling it a little bit early this time because the, the rain has picked back up and it's meant to be continuing all night. So just gonna make this an overnighter for now. We uh, we did all the tracks we wanted to do anyway. Uh, we would have just been going to another campsite and um, having a play around there. He's pretty filthy though, so he probably needs a good bath. So we'll take him back and get him ready to go. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really means a lot. Thanks for tuning in.